the, as I came into this place, the wildest thing, I came into this church. By the way, great place to have a church. I really like this place. Um, God's, God's going to open up a whole bunch more stuff here. There's going to be, there's going to be, I'm telling you, if you want it today, there's a fresh fire God's going to release on you. And the word I got was he's about to release holy ambushes over this region. This is a word right now. There's a holy ambush that's coming. There's a move of the spirit that's coming suddenly to this region, and it's going to hit like a freight train. And I mean right now, but it's not just going to be in the church. It's for business owners here. I want you to receive this right now because there's those that are in this place. You're contending for revival in your business. There's a holy ambush that's about to come in your business. There's a holy ambush that's about to come in your house. There's a holy ambush that's about to be released over our school systems and everywhere that we go that I believe there's a fresh fire where God's about to ignite a city on fire. On fire. And so I'm holding this word, and I feel like there's going to be protracted meetings. Very, I'm telling you, there's going to be such a releasing of the Spirit of God in this place that I, I believe people from all over are going to start coming to this region. There's a fresh outpouring of the Spirit. And, I, and I, in worship, I could see all of these words over this region, and I felt like the Lord said, no more delay. The words that have been spoken will come to pass in this region. It will. It will come to pass. And, and, I, and I know, and I'm going to get into this in a moment, but I, I want to stir faith because part of what I believe is this next move is creative miracles like we have never seen before. That's why I believe I'm here. I believe I'm here to help kickstart with you something for creative miracles and that something's going to happen in this near future where you're going to see people coming in on hospital, listen, hospital stretchers completely, totally healed in this place. You're going to see the dead rays in this place. You're going to see... Blind eyes, deaf ears, I'm here for a purpose because there's a healing revival that God wants to release. And it's going to bring the young people. You want to start, you want to start a young, youth and young adults ministry? Have miracle signs and wonders. You'll have all the youth and young adults. I mean it. I mean it. I, I feel like there's a generation wondering. Not about what we preach, but what we demonstrate. And I know in this moment, and, and maybe for some of us, we're saying, well, I don't need another miracle. But can I say this right now? There's people out there that do. Yes. Maybe you've seen your fair share of miracles, but there's people out there that have never seen a miracle. And they're wondering, if God is real, why is this going on? Can I say this right now? Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Come on, listen. He went about doing good, but he also destroyed every work of the enemy. Yes. And sickness is not from God. And he destroyed every yoke of the devil. And he came and he healed bodies and he moved in miracles and he raised the dead and he set captives free. That is coming back to the Canadian church like never before. We're going to see it again. There's stuff happening. I'm telling you, I just feel like I'm a messenger for what God's doing right now. Here's my word is get ready. There's a healing revival that's here in this church. It's already here. It's already, the waters are here. And I believe get ready. Things are about to explode. But here's my word. I got to release this because it's going to happen in this church. God's releasing a holy ambush. Listen, a holy ambush is coming to the church. How many want a holy ambush? I've never preached this. I'm not going to go along. This is a word right now. God's releasing a holy ambush. And I'm telling you, with the church right now, listen, a church in our nation of Canada, where, where we have a nation in crisis, we need a church in revival. How many say Amen. So here's my word. I, I, I didn't know this. As I stepped into this place, the Lord said, I'm releasing a holy ambush. And God says right now, he said, it's Joshua chapter 8. Come on, turn with me. Joshua 8, verse 14. Do you know what the date is today? I had no idea. It's August 8th. No, sorry, August the 14th. 814. I came in here and God said, I'm releasing a holy ambush. And he said, today, on August the 14th, 814, it's Joshua 814. Now look at this. Here's the word. Now it happened when the king of Ai saw it, and the, that the men of the city hurried and rose early and went out against Israel to battle. He and all his people at an appointed place before the plain. But he did not know that there was an ambush. Someone say ambush. He did not know that there was an ambush against him behind the city. And here's a word for you today. God spoke to me. He says, get ready, church, life church. 
There is a holy ambush coming to this city. There's an ambush. I'm talking about the fire of God coming to this region. There's an anointing of revival fire. I said, God, what is this about? He said, Sammy, do you remember the story? I had to look in, in worship. I'm going through the story. Because not often do I read the story of I, you know, AI. I'm like, come on. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, Sammy, there's many people in this place feel like they're in this battle. Where they just overcame Jericho. And all of a sudden, they get to the next battle. And what felt like an easy battle, what felt like an easy victory, all of a sudden, they get a loss. And I don't know about you. Have you ever felt like you took one step forward, two step back? And, you know, I feel that we're in this season right now, coming out of COVID. It's like we've gone through a battle. Anybody here feel like you've gone through a battle? And I want to honor, I feel this in this house. There's a battle in this season to carry a word of the Lord. There's a battle, and I can feel the fight to say, you know what? We're going to keep moving forward. You know what? We're going to keep paying the price. You know what? We're going to keep preaching Jesus. We're going to keep going after. He is the answer. And there's something about this season, though, where I can feel for some, it's like, Sammy, I, I feel like I just came out of COVID. I feel like we overcame something, but I just got hit, and I don't know how to get the victory. I don't know how to take that next step. And here's what the Lord told me. He, he said, get ready. He's like, I'm removing. Here's what the Lord told me. He's like, I'm removing the sin of Achan out of the camp. It's a wild word, man. When you read the story of why Israel lost, it was because Achan took something that he was not supposed to take. When I was reading, and when you read Joshua chapter 7, it's fascinating. Because when Joshua interrogates Achan, he says, I saw the beautiful, well, I, I got to read this. Oof. Listen to this real quick. Just, just keep receiving, just keep receiving. Oh, thank you, Lord. Verse 20, it says, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I've done. When I saw among the spoils, someone say spoils. spoils. See, can I tell you this right now? You know what the battle that we're in today? It's not the battle for victory. God's given us the victory. Yes. It's the battles of the spoils of war. Yes. You know what we're after today? We're not after victory. Jesus has given us the victory. We're after the souls that Jesus won. Yes. Yes. We're after the spoils of war. You know what we're after today? We're not after earthly possessions. Can I tell you what we're after? We're after every man, woman, and child that they would know Jesus. That we would plunder hell and populate heaven. And we see here, though, in the midst of a victory, Achan gets his eyes, look at this, off of what he should be doing. It says, and among the spoils, a beautiful Babylonian garment. You know the Lord told me? He said, there's many today that have traded in their godly garments for garments of culture. You know why we don't have power in the church today? It's because we start wearing other garments. We start to become culturally relevant and biblically inaccurate. And we start to appease culture, trying to win people by the persuasive words of man instead of by the, I'm telling you, the powerful beauty of the Holy Spirit. And this is a season where God is looking, at, and I'm going to tell you this right now. We as the Church of Canada, we can't step into this next season of breakthrough until we're ready to exchange out the Babylonian garments. And for some of us, we're in a time where God wants to change up our garments because too often we've looked like the world instead of the bride of Christ. And we're in a place right now where God is asking, will you give up today all those other things? Will you give up that stuff? Some of us today, we know it in our hearts. We know that we're carrying this stuff. And the truth is, yes, we come to church, but there's a part of us that almost likes to wear the garments. We like to live in this world. How many know today we're, we might be in this world, but we're not of it? See, there's a garment change. Here's the other part of that word. You're not defined by your past. There's a garment change coming today. You don't have to, you don't have to wear your old clothes. You don't have to wear the shame of the past, the mistakes of the past. Those things don't hold you anymore. By the blood of Jesus, your garments are as white as snow. I don't come before the Lord in my mistakes. I come before the Lord in the finished work of Jesus Christ. I come before the Lord in the blood of the Lamb today. And that every single stain of sin has been removed. And that today we've been washed as white as snow. 
And there's new garments that God has given the church in this season. But he's coming to remove the Babylonian garments. He's coming for a bride that is completely his. He is not going to share his glory with another. Here's my, I'm telling you, one thing God is looking for in Canada, he's looking for us to give up control if we want the glory. It's a word right now. It's the same word today when we look in Exodus chapter 33, when Moses ascends and he experiences the glory of God. There was a whole people that said they had the invitation to go up the mountain. But they chose not to. No, Moses, you do it. You're the minister. How many can just believe with me that God is raising up a generation, a royal priesthood, all of us. All of us are called to go up the mountain, not just the pastor, not just the prophet or the apostle, but God is raising up a people that are going to ascend the hill of the Lord. But here's the thing. So as the people are at the base of the mountain, they come up with the wildest thing. They say, build us a golden calf that we may follow. Can I just say that that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard? Because last time I checked, how many know golden calves can't move? They traded in a God that they could move with. He was a cloud by day and a fire by night. He literally moved with them and they traded that in for a golden calf. Something that could not move, they had to push. You know what that tells me? They wanted a God that they could control. They wanted a God that they could control. See, there's a lot of people here today. Can I say this right now? If I said, do you want the glory? I, I believe every Christian would say, absolutely. Are you willing to give up control? That's a whole other issue. And we trade in the glory for a golden calf that we can control. So we have our nice services. And we have our hour meetings. And we do our thing. And the rest of the life, the rest of our week, we just control it. I'm going to tell you this right now. You have a jealous God that wants you. He wants you. He wants all of you. Not just the Sunday morning part, not just the Monday morning part. He wants every single day, 24 hours a day. He wants to live in fellowship with you every single day. And he's looking for people that want him just as much. They want to be with him every day. I want to tell you this right now. I would rather bank my whole life on the presence of God than anything else. I'd rather keep the main thing, the main thing, and bank on, listen, if I can minister to the one, everything else will be taken care of. God is raising up a people dedicated to his presence. I don't know about you, but we just can't go through the motions. Like, like Moses said, unless your presence goes with us, what's, who are we? What makes us different? Your presence. Here's my word. God is breaking the back today of the spirit of poverty. And a, I'm going to tell you this right now. A religious spirit is a poverty spirit. It's true. It's true. I'm going to say that again. A religious spirit is a poverty spirit. Why? Because both are withholding spirits. Wow. <laughs> and here's the problem. We say, oh, I don't know about that money stuff, but then we sacrifice our whole lives for money. And we put on the altar of money our family, put on the altar of money, our health, we put on the, all this stuff we're willing to sacrifice. Are you kidding me? Our God today will have no other God. Come on. And I'm going to tell you this right now, you can't serve two masters, you can't serve God and mammon at the same time. We're in a season right now where God is looking for us to lay down. I feel this right now. Lay it down. Lay it down. This whole aspect today. There's too many people that are trying. They're trying to get ahead through an earthly system. God is saying there's a better way to do it. And part of the sin of Achan is trying to take something. I feel this today. It's trying to take something. There's resource. There's things that God himself wants to give you. Friends, I believe this right now. I want to end with this. I believe right here and right now there's a holy ambush that God's releasing in this place. That I believe your best days, church, are right here and right now. I'm prophesying. I want you to stand with me right now. 
I believe right now there's a move of God that's here. It's not coming. It's here in this church. There's a fresh fire that God is releasing. There's a healing anointing. I believe that's on this church for notable miracles. And I prophesy the lame are going to walk. The blind will see. The deaf will hear. And the dead will be raised. They will be raised in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for a holy ambush, God. Lord, shake this region for your glory, God. Lord, we thank you right now. We prophesy revival over this region, God. And every place in this region, let this whole region be shook by the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you for this church. I thank you for the leadership. I feel like the Lord is saying you paid a price to stand. Now you're going to reap new levels of authority in this season. Get ready. Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I thank you what God is doing. The gates of hell will not prevail. God, I thank you right now. There's restoration coming right now in Jesus' name. I see people that left that are coming back in this season. I'm telling you right now, God's rooting out. I saw the Lord grab a snake by its neck right now and wring out a snake. God says every lie that was spoken over this church is broken in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now. God's going to restore. Lord, I thank you right now. Man, the enemy wanted to abort something right now. He tried. He tried. He tried. I'm telling you right now, this is a word today. Gossip is a cancer that God's removing. It's gonna, he's going to remove it. You can remove it by choice or he'll remove it by his force. And gossip is getting cut out. I can see it. And here's what happened. Here's, here's, I'm telling you, I can tell what's happening right now. God had to remove this thing because he's bringing a pure move of the Lord. And there, there is a baby being birthed. I can see it's, it's being birthed. Lord, I thank you. And some of you right now, there's, there's loved ones that have been torn in a previous season. There's actually loved ones here that should be here. They're not because of this uh, situation. God's restoring loved ones back into the church right now. Some of you, there was division in your own home. God's restoring right now in Jesus' name. God's restoring. I just prophesy there's a releasing of restoration right now in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. And I just, I feel like the Lord, there's something about, right, Lord, I thank you. Even for this, this pastoral team, right, Lord, I thank you right now. I felt like the Lord said because... You guys kept going for it. You didn't give up. It's a word. Lord, I thank you right now. Father, I thank you for that blessing of perseverance. Lord, I thank you right now for you guys keep pushing. Even it was hard. I, and I see even like, like, like I know during COVID, there, I, I, I feel like I see a season where it's like, man, and like what are we going to do? And, and I felt like the Lord said you, were gonna, you guys stood your ground. And, and here's my word, because you stood, you will stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Because you stood and weren't silent, because you didn't take a seat, and just said, well, I'm just going to wait for the storm to pass. But you guys stood your ground, and I feel like the word is, you will stand and see now the salvation of the Lord. You will see souls upon souls upon souls coming in. <laughs> Father, we thank you. <gasps> Lord, bring it back. Come on. Lord, we thank you. Just release it right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I, I, I want to pray right now. Lord, over, over right now the whole youth and young adults. God, I thank you. God, I thank you right now. Lord, you're going to release. There's like a, Lord, a wave of the Spirit. I feel like the Lord's just saying there's something about how God's rebuilding and, it, and it's going to be presence first. I feel this right now. I see all these young people having encounters. I feel like the Lord's saying like, Make sure, make sure, make sure that you leave ample time for kids to, to, to step into the presence. And I see like all these kids over the, all over the floor having encounters and, and, and where, where, you know, young adults should be done at 9.30. I see it going until 11, 11.30, 12. And I see the, I, I see stuff happening where, where the glory of God's going to show up and kids are going to go into full-blown encounters. And, and, I, and I just see like, like heavenly heavenly encounters and, and angels are showing up. I see all this awesome stuff that God's going to be releasing 
in this season for the youth and young adults. Lord, I thank you for releasing it in Jesus' name. That this isn't a youth group, but God, I thank you right now that this is next generation leaders that you're raising up right now. God, I thank you right now. Lord, and that they're going to have, this is a word right now, God's releasing the next generation leaders. They're going to have their Evan Roberts experiences where they're going to have right now those experiences that mark them forever, that made them a leader, that made them a world changer. God, I thank you that you're going to mark the next generation with the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow. Wow. Thank you, God. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, also too, Lord, I thank you right now. Man. Lord, I thank you for this region. Lord, everywhere they put their foot, Lord, I thank you. Lord, you've given to them. Wow. You're going to give to them. Man. I, there's something about you guys... This isn't your only building. I'm telling you right now. This is an interesting word. There's like, there's something about God's going to release stuff right now. I feel like, get ready. Lord, I thank you for debt free. There's something about the Lord's going to release in this season. There's something about God's going to just, he's going to turn this, all this stuff into a sign and a wonder uh, of being completely, totally, like de everything debt free, everything completely paid. Lord, I thank you right now. There's something about this next season of supernatural abundance and breaking the back of debt. Thank you. And maybe that's for you too today. If you've been struggling in debt, today's the day right now. I'll tell you, God has a strategy for your, for your finance. And I believe this right now. For some of us, it, the reason why, maybe it's, just hear me today, maybe the reason why you don't have the relief that you're looking for is actually God wants to teach you financial authority. And I think for some of us, if, if we would be willing to, instead of being needs-based driven, we'd start being more presence-based. And Lord, I, Lord, what do you have to say in this? See, I, I want to encourage us today that if we have to go to God with our stuff and ask him to bless it, we might be in trouble. I want to encourage you today, don't be stuff-driven, be presence-driven. Lord, I thank you. Wow. Thank you, God. Lord, we just release that glory all over this room. Lord, I'm telling you, God's going to, there's some of you right now, you're like, Sammy, you have no idea of the financial situation. But I thank you right now. Psalms 23 for you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. God will, he'll lead, he will lead you and he will guide you. I'll tell you, part of financial freedom comes when you understand rest. reason why I believe there's so much debt today and everything that's going on is because we don't have rest. Lord, release your rest. Whew. And Father, we thank you for what you're doing because you are doing a new thing. Lord, I thank you for this region. Lord, it's going to be, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be such a jewel for Canada in the coming days. Yeah because Canada shall be saved. How many say amen? Can we give God praise? Jesus. Well, I have had an absolutely fantastic time. And I would love just to, to be with you guys again. This is like a lot of fun. Here, I, I'm telling you, wait, there's there going to come a day where you guys are going to host telling you right now, protracted healing meetings. And I know when this stuff starts going, it won't stop. And that there's something over this region, I'm telling you. People from all over are going to come. Let it be God. Amen. Come on.